Even as the cabinet cleared the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019, which is to be brought in Parliament on the 9th of December now, there are huge protests taking place in the Northeast. What is the reservation that people have with regards to the Citizenship Amendment Bill and why is it so contentious? Let's try and understand. So after the Citizenship Amendment Bill is passed by Parliament and becomes an act, six communities will be able to get citizenship of India. These communities are Hindus, Buddhists, Jains, Christians, Sikhs and Parsis. It excludes the Muslim community and largely these communities would come from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. So the government's contention is those who are persecuted in these countries can seek asylum in India and later get a citizenship of the country. The opposition has been opposed to this bill for the simple reason that this has exclusionary provisions means it leaves out one community, the Muslims. Secondly, their objection is that it anyway subverts the constitution because the Indian constitution says that citizenship is not going to rely on a person's religious identity. It is for this reason that this bill which was earlier introduced in 2016 passed the Lok Sabha where the BJP has brute majority but failed to muster enough support or garner enough support to be able to cross the Rajya Sabha or the upper house hurdle. There was so much resentment against the bill that even BJP's own ally in the Northeast, the Aham Gana Parishad, was against the Citizenship Amendment Bill and had broken their ties with the BJP over it. They came back into the NDA fold once this bill lapsed in Parliament and later, now they seem to have taken a U-turn on this issue. It is believed that the BJP has been speaking to parties opposed to this bill to make some sort of a compromise wherein this bill will get enough support to cross the parliament hurdle. The bill has not just created resentment within the country but has also been questioned abroad. For instance, the US Congressional Committee which met in October to discuss human rights violations in South Asia and focused a lot on India because of Kashmir also questioned the Citizenship Amendment Bill. They questioned the fact as to how a bill with exclusionary provisions could even be entertained in Parliament. But the most impacted region by the Citizenship Amendment Bill has been the northeastern part of India. They fear that with the passage of this bill, illegal immigrants who will then get citizenship of India will be able to undermine the ethnic communities in the Northeast. And even as the bill will be introduced by the Home Minister in Parliament next week, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh said that the government is according this bill just as much importance as it did to the reading down of Article 370.